Hello and welcome to creating a general accounting encumbrance GAE transaction in AZ360. We will be demonstrating this process in one of our test environments and the screen has been zoomed in for optimal viewing. In our training scenario, an agency has received an invoice from vendor Tucson Electric Power for quarter four 2022 estimated electric usage. We will create a GAE that encumbers the quarterly utility bill amount of 15,000 as displayed on the invoice on screen. We are now going to transition to the AZ360 application, which has already been logged into, and note that the accounts payable business role has been selected already as well. To get started with this process, we'll navigate to the global search menu, we'll click the downward caret, and we'll ensure that page code is selected. In the search here menu, we, we will type in GAE, and from the drop-down menu that generates, we will select GAE, Purchase Order, Non-Commodity. The GAE Financial Transaction page then generates. We will click Create in the top right. In the Transaction Department, you will enter your department code. We will be entering ADA for our example. We will then click the Auto Numbering checkbox and click Continue. Notice that a new GAE transaction has generated and opens to the header tab. The transaction is in draft status. The version number is one. And if you click this downward um, option here, the function is new and the status is held. Okay, on the general information section, transaction description field, we will enter the reason for the encumbrance. In this scenario, we will enter quarter four, 2022 estimated electric usage. Okay, we will then click on the vendor tab to fill out that section. We will click on the tab level action section and select the plus sign that will add a new vendor line. You know that a new vendor line is added when it turns blue. In the vendor customer field, we will click the pick list to select the vendor on the invoice. We will be using a wildcard feature to narrow the search results um, when the search vendor customer page uh, generates. So we will type in IV wildcard asterisk, and then the last four digits of the vendor code, which in this case are 3106. Click search, and you'll note that Tucson Electric Power is the first vendor that generates. It is uh, selected because it has a blue uh, line. Go ahead and click OK. Note that the legal name field is blank. If you click save, the legal name infers from the vendor code that you entered. We will do the same thing for the address code, clicking the pick list. Although in this case, the grid at the bottom is already pre-populated with um, addresses assigned to this vendor. And the PO Box 80077 address on the top here matches the address on the invoice. It's already selected and it will be the address that we use. So we'll click OK. For demonstration purposes, we'll click the downward um, expand uh, caret here, you'll note that none of the address information is currently populated. But again, if you click save, the information from that address code populates in the uh, desired fields. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, complete the accounting tab by clicking on it. Same as the vendor tab, we'll click the plus sign to generate an accounting line. And we'll know that it's generated because it's in blue. The line amount field will be filled in with the amount of the encumbrance. In this case, that's 15,000. We will enter our test uh, department number in this field. Again, we're using ADA for our demonstration purposes. And we're gonna be showcasing a function as well and show you how the function can infer additional uh, chart of account or COA elements. So in this case, we are using GSDUT22000 as our function. Uh, the GAE does require that you fill in an object um, code as well. In our example, we'll use 7181. And again, for training uh, display purposes, we're going to click the downward caret, navigate to the COA section, and I want to point out that none of the additional COA fields are currently filled out. But in this case, if you click validate and then navigate back to that COA section, you'll notice that now all of those fields have filled in. Um, it depends on how they are enabled on the function inference table. Um, but again, they are pre-populated because of the function that was used. Now we know that the transaction validated successfully because of this message here in light purple. We will then go ahead and submit the document to our next line approver. And we'll know that it's submitted successfully when we get the success message here as well. 
We have encumbered a GAE. To go back to the home page, we will click the home icon.